Hello everyone, I'm Sasensi back here with Atlas playing from the depths Galau campaign. We have a fleet bearing down us, but we are in no way, shape, or form ready to fight them. Yep, in no way are we ready. Um, um my we map's in this three of them. Yeah. Is your map messed up? Yeah, kind of. Ah. Um can you tell me what the things are since I can't? Um Incoming from enemy forces are a bomber, a tank, a mortar, and a brawler. Ah, oh, so there's four. That's so I'm going to fleet. quick. I'm going to quickly retrofit my hover to have as many missiles as I can, and I'm going to bait them around mm. so they can't chase us. Okay, in the meantime, I'll be working on the two ships. Um, my ship is practically worthless, so it's not mm -hmm. even worth the material. So I think either I'll be making it much better and spending a ton of time or just making a new one. And uh, speaking of worth the material, what definitely is worth the material will hopefully be a charity live stream me and Atlas are planning to set up. Uh, for the hurricane that happened yeah to help the people who have been affected by hurricane irma is it um there's been three or two yeah i think yeah there's i been... think that was the biggest wasn't it uh i believe I so don't, i don't know don't either way us. it's all it's all terrible yeah so many what... people have been displaced from their homes and yes they live in a third a third world nation <laughs> third world. yes america's third world <laughs> first world nation but it's still it's horrible and there are many families, kids that all need support. So we are planning to do that. We'll get an announcement video mm -hmm. up once we've worked out all the key details. And uh, yeah, that's just a little heads up. Just so you know. Might be small YouTubers, but we want to do our part for the community if we can. Mm -hmm. Now... I've got to quit you set up some active radar seekers. Um, oh, something I was thinking about as well. Um, can't we put mm -hmm. detection equipment on the satellite? We, In fact, we can weaponize the satellite. Oh, isn't that a bit cheaty? I Have feel. you seen the start of this campaign? Okay, well, that is... It's, it's true. It, it, it's fair. Okay. This campaign starts a lot harder than NATO. In fact, I'd say this has the hardest start of the three. Because no one plays uh, Dangerous Wars. Yeah. I've had a quick look at it, but... FTD doesn't really work when the ships are already pre-built for you. Mm-hmm. It only really works when you build it. It, it, take, it takes the fun out of it. righty ooh. All right, so for this boat, it needs to not be short and narrow. It needs to be, I mean, long and narrow. It needs to be stumpy in all third directions. All three of the axes. Yeah. So it doesn't flip over every five seconds. Right, I'm going to send the hovercraft. Off if I can, I just want to get a bit of speed first before I pull it out of play. So I want to try and bait the enemy fleet with it. Mm. Now, we will end up probably going into enemy territory doing this. <laughs> Imagine if you could just get like 50 ships following your hovercraft. In all fairness, if it gives us time to prepare. Yeah, anything's worth it. And I mean, in the meantime, I could try and do hit and run attacks mm. on the enemy fleet. Just make sure Low. you don't do too many. I don't really want to try that. Yeah. You know, because bad stuff. Mm. Uh, I think the boat I'm working on now should have a cannon, because it is something we're lacking. We got really good air defense, but against... We got a laser. We got... Yeah. In all fairness, I reckon that laser on the MCV 
should we just be turned into munitions defense? Not offensive at all. Hmm. Oh, to like block incoming fire? Yeah. Hmm. Because we don't want the MCV to have massive damage output. We want it to have survivability. That is true. And tankiness. So. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Um, can you see the map? Um, yeah, I can. Okay, if you just occasionally check to see. Um. Okay. You are... Uh, I, I will do the same just to make sure that... Okay. You know. There, I'm going to get rid of that turret. We don't need it. You're probably going to go into enemy. Moved. You're probably going to get into enemy territory, though. Yeah, I'm hoping all that was spawn. If anything did spawn, would be relatively weak. Mm. I feel we need to lose the pontoons or bring them closer. They are taking up a lot of volume. I'm just going to cut them off. Okay. There we are. Um, how are we looking? I'm going into enemy territory now. I'll get to see what it will spawn. It's an air wing. It's fast. Bomber. Dang it. A soul bomber is coming to attack my hovercraft. Is it? Here, I'm going to join the action real quick. Uh... Force name um. of a scout. Uh, if you get away from the weapon controller. Uh, I'm not on your hover. Oh. Press yes. Because we have our first battle of the series. Yay. Right, where is it? There you are. It's directly in front of you. You should be able to take it down relatively fast. Unless the missiles mess up and we hit ourselves. Oh, oh, <laughs> it died with one hit of a missile. It's already dead. And then it got hit by five more, so it's dead. Beautiful. Um, did you, are you going to be able to get resources from that? I'm hoping... Okay. Okay. So good. So we cleared out those two squares. So you should be able to just run around. Uh, there. Yep. I'm also gonna get some more jet engines on this to help its turning. Oh. Can't help but feel that's gonna be an issue with this. Why is it not spawning in? Hmm. The MCV isn't spawning in. It's being weird. Okay. It did. Oh. Let's get some speed before I pull you out. Uh oh. What? Did they stop chasing? Uh, it's possible. Nah, they're chasing now. Excellent. Ooh, it already floats in most of its metal. Hmm. There we are. I mean, I don't think they will ever catch it. How fast are they? Yeah, they're, they're never going to catch it as long as you maneuver it, right? As long as it doesn't go for the MCV. Mm -hmm. Which I doubt it will, because that's more of a threat. Um, keep the MCV out of the water. Right. I'm going to go to this back bit here. fact, I want to make the MCV into a hovercraft. Okay. I'd... Good luck with that. Maybe then we could use it as a heavy missile platform. Oh. That would, that would keep, be nice. Keep it in the back. Mm, so it can still defend itself with the laser, but then it can still dish out damage. Well, the laser will be munitions defense, and it'll act as the mothership for the whole fleet. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Obviously, this is going to be dependent on what the hovercraft runs into. Like, I am extremely worried that it might run yeah, something it can't deal with. Mm. And then it's just like, well, there goes our hovercraft. Hmm. Do you want to replace the walls of yeah. um, the MCV with uh, iron? Metal, yeah. Okay. And if I, I'll just we'll shape it as well. Why not? Okay. We'll keep this sort of shape. I like this. It's a very Fenrir esque. A little bit check. Like... On the old ah. Now the next fleet is a lot stronger, but I reckon I've opened up enough of a sort of a terrain area that we should be able to deal with it. Yeah, I mean, in all fairness, I can drag the enemy over land <laughs> and then just put them there. Keep them there, hide behind an island, and just hit them repeatedly. Okay, you should be fine there for a. Yeah. Oh. What happened? My mouse went off my screen. Keep the video going, keep the video going, I'm restarting for apps. Okay. I had a slight technical error. Um, you don't have very many of those. No, my mouse went off. Um, mm. My my one monitor onto my other monitor. Uh, that's always and uh, yeah. Uh, I did have someone asking in the last video if we can make. Um, probably shouldn't put the high explosives in the front. Um, to make tutorials for like cram cannons and AI and missiles. Ooh. Are we good enough for that? Well, no one else has done it for this game and it's like the most complicated game ever. So, I don't know. We could try. We'll, we'll have a look into it. Also, I did have someone comment about the torpedoes. Yeah, but I got rid of them. Yeah, so. And a lot of what you did suggest had to do with... Um, uh, Lua code, like the Thumperhead and stuff. So, yeah, Thumperheads, because they replace the guidance. Yeah. So maybe yeah, one day, when we're better. Uh, this fires every four, four seconds at five five thousand damage. Is that good mm. enough? Um. And accuracy is. 0 0.75 so I'm mm. not sure it might be I'm going to try to make it just a tiny bit bigger uh, let's make sure we get the right paint colour I'm not going to make this into a hovercraft I think for the MCV even if it I mean airborne maybe Mm. But a hover, I feel, is too vulnerable for a flagship. Yeah. I, I would agree. Ooh, this is a nice looking cram. It's not the worst one I've ever made. <laughs> and it actually has a ton of room for a bunch of armor, which is nice. Okay. Atlas has made a nice looking cram cannon. Very nice. It is a rare sight to behold. Though I'm sure someone's going to say it looks terrible. I don't care. I like it. It's all that Comment matters. below. Comment below on what your personal opinion. It sucks. Is. You're bad at FTD. Quit YouTube. There are people like that. There is. 
But those are like the hardcore people that have no life and play this game all the time. Which, to be fair, we're kind of that way, but not quite that yet. I was that way when the game came out. I was too. It was very addicting as Back a game. then, definitely. Um... Okay. Oh, even the design of this looks somewhat nice. This I'm going to get rid of this laser system in the MCV. Oh, it's such a nice cannon design. Hmm. I mean, the back needs to be armored. That would probably be a good thing to do. Uh, I'm going to reshape the front of this. What, what are you reshaping? No way. I just realized what I can make this look like. What? Have you ever seen Battlestar Galactica? No, I've heard of it. I want to try and make this look like a Battlestar. Ooh. How hard is that? How hard would that be? Not very, in all fairness. Hmm. Um. Gonna try and call, call up my memory of Star. Someone's like, that's horrible. It's completely inaccurate. I mean, I'm just imagining that's their voice. Yeah. Okay. Nice looking cram. At the moment, I just... I want to just... Uh, a sort of basic shape. It's not going to be perfect, but I want it to... like if If someone who watched the series looked at it, they would. They'd be able to recognize at least parts of it. Mm. It's just protection in case we do get attacked. Um, I'll have to just go and quickly have a look again at what a battle stars look like. <laughs> but I know that. Um, they had sort of sloping down at the front. Isn't that the show where they fight the bugs? Um. Like there's like these bugs on a planet. They fight them. I, I think you're um, talking about Starship Troopers. Oh, uh, that, would, that would make more sense. I think I'm going to have to make that a bit bigger. Um, where's the enemy? Okay. Are they too close yet? No. Uh, look at this. Look at this nice, nice looking cram. Uh, like, I that, will do. It looks pretty decent. I mean, obviously, I'd probably need a... A little paste. biased. Yeah, a little bit biased. Um, fires every 3.96 seconds um, for 5,000. 5, um, 6,000 damage. It's pretty decent. Think, and it's pretty accurate. For the MCV's building, so I want to make it look like a battle star. <laughs> okay. Um, I think we have to time lapse that. Okay. Or just completely do it off camera? No, no, no. We'll time lapse it in a later episode. Okay. For now, functionality. Tomorrow. Well, not, not even functionality, just. I've left it half built. Mm. We don't. We don't need it. It's not going to be used for combat. I'm building an engine. Do not be afraid. Do not fear. Nothing has gone wrong yet. It needs to just be enough to power it and keep the hearth alive. Yeah. That's all it needs. Cause and make some modifications to my hovercraft. Bit more armor. If I can.
I'm so glad they changed the exhaust so it's not so complicated anymore. <laughs> yeah, it is very nice. It used to be super complicated. Complicated? That's exactly. Mainly because you couldn't have uh, multiple engines connect together. Yeah. Which is the worst part. And plus then you just had to finick with the directions that the pipes had to go. It was... It was always bad. Yeah. Does it float though? That's the question. <laughs> does it float? It does. Even with that turret in the front. Oh, uh, what? Um, it needs a bit of buoyancy, but it'll it'll do fine. I'm gonna add a couple of small Gatlinger guns to my hovercraft. Ooh, oh, that would, that would fit it nice. Just something small. Uh, advanced, I'm assuming? Yeah. Hmm. There we are. Small, belt-fed... Mm, with belt fed it's going to take forever to for it to yeah but it's going to be out here forever so okay that's true um oh yeah forget belt fed Johnny only has one actual point Uh, there we are. Am I input feeders? Keep track on the map so I know where I am. Because mm. I am building while doing this balancing multiple things yeah um i'm about to do a test Ooh. test fire okay i do need to put batteries so i don't die when i jump on this thing though uh Rightio. So it's going to be a 54 millimeter gun. Don't know how long it's going to be. Advanced cannon. Ammo controller. Ooh, it exploded. Why did it explode? I don't know. Why did it explode? The hearth Atlas? exploded. I don't. Oh, it needs batteries, doesn't it? Haha. -ha. It does. Okay. Uh, I think. Oh, no, it has no fuel. That's why. That'd probably help. Fifty five. Uh is fuel explosive? Did they change that? Um or is it still non explosive? I think it's non explosive still. It should definitely be flammable, like it should catch wood on fire. Um, okay, I'm having to bring the hovercraft close to home. Okay. Uh, if you give me a little bit longer, I'll be functional. No, it's just while well, it still dodges stuff. Oh, okay. You just have to bring it back around. Um, 
actually, if I use a, a combination of EMP, more heads. Oh, yeah. Why haven't we thought about that? Because they're wood, aren't they? We'd just be able to... Oh, wait. No, no, EMP no. It doesn't do, work. Do with their shields. Oh. Hesh is probably one of the best things. Hmm. Hesh? Oh, high explosive. Take me a minute. Yeah. And an inertial. That, that's actually very... Uh, where's the stabilizers? Yeah, that should work. I then put a stabilizer and another EMP on. This is so we well are. armored. It's great. And you can go with a um, Sabo Sabo Hmm. It seems like we're doing somewhat decently on um on resources. It's not that bad. I thought we would run out sooner, especially with us redoing everything. Seven point one, seven point nine, so I could probably put a stabilizer. There we are. Okay, I'm about to do a test fire, if you would like to look at the nearest window. Um, I'm not there, unfortunately. Okay. Ooh, nice. Okay, how long does it take to reload? Fires again. Um, for some reason it doesn't tell me its explosive value. If you follow the shell, it usually tells you. 700 oh. kinetic, and then there's no explosive. Is there something we have to change? I don't know. Um, I'm coming over. Okay. Ooh. And you made it somewhat submersed as well. No, that's just floating issues. They'll be fixed. Um, I'd say if you up the gauge slightly on it, Mm, I'm just the problem with crams is the fact that they're always hmm they're always having problems with um accuracy <laughs> that was close right and if I set you up as a uh, weapon one same with you weapon one. I'm gonna make the missile launcher two. Cram. No, I haven't put detection on this yet. But it's oh. purely because hmm. I don't want to yet. Okay, we're at ten thousand explosive damage. Should I up that even more? Or should um, I keep it? What's the gauge? Um, it's a gay... Oh, I forgot where to look. The shell diameter is a 1,000, if that means anything. Um. I'm trying to look for the gauge. That's the gauge. Okay, 1,000 is the gauge. Uh. So that's a rather decent gauge. I can get it. The max is, um, 2,000. Two yeah. Okay, so the, but the reload time's six, and it's you know, almost I just double. realized. Uh huh. What? It's been nearly thirty minutes. Already? Yeah. It seems like it should have been longer. Huh. Well, okay. Uh, oh, it's yeah. my turn to do the outro. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Uh, leave a like if you'd like to see more of this great series where we talk and build stuff. Um, leave comments down below whether or not you'd like to, us to see the charity do the charity stream. Um, my 
my design of a cram also your opinions would be much appreciated anything we're doing right wrong comment down below about that um what are you doing over there on your channel over on uh, my channel i'm finishing up starcraft 2 legacy of the void i've only got the prologue left to do no epilogue prologues before mm. what is an epilogue um, basically a finish oh okay a wrapper wrapper Gotcha. And um, the Factorio multiplayer with Atlas, of course, and uh, Sunstrike 4 with the German campaign. Doing the last episode of that, then we're on to, I believe, be the Soviet campaign hmm. afterwards. Uh, what are you doing on your channel? Um, Rimworld every Sunday. It's just a weekly series because it takes forever to edit those things because there's not much that happens. Um, Factorio, of course with this beautiful British person and then um this from the depth series and I feel like I'm missing oh. something but I'm not it's just he called oh me streaming a British person yes exactly and then you're an awesome American exactly yay for alliteration so that's thanks it. all for watching we'll see you all next time <laughs> bye bye